And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport by storm. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set. An ability to stay upright. Yeah. An ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers. An ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an armbar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender on a side. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Is not fight. Ready. Certainly did here tonight. 
And there is the UFC middleweight champion. Hard to be much more impressive than that on the biggest of stages. A knockout win to leave as the middleweight king. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by knockout and still. And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night, you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa. The artist formerly known as Bo Hashinha, but man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC Golden Blue. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Paolo the Eraser. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Fight the round one clock is starting to tick. The number one contender believes the champ is wow! And he lands a big left hand there. Both guys 
landing it well here. Good action early. Just misses with that big right hand. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's, he's hurt bad. Just over. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight. All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, so here we go with this UFC middleweight championship fight. The round one clock is starting to tick. The number one contender believes the champ is right for the picking. The champion more than five years apart with the same height and a similar reach. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. all about that left oh. kick to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish. And now he lands a combination. Knee to the body. What a fight we got going on here. Just over three minutes now to go. Massive head kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Can't 
Can't take many of those. You better check. He's going. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if you're that man. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Lee. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout. And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Sides with Bruce Buffer. All right, coming up next is highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. decision here is Bruce Buffett.
And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. decision. 